The Progress of Art by Thomas Hood. Our happy time, art's early days, when our each deed with such sad praise, as Sisus like I hung, and great Rembrandt but little seemed, and such old masters all were deemed as nothing to the young. Some scratchy strokes, abrupt and few, so easily and swift I drew, sufficient for my design, my sketchy, superficial hand, drew solids at a dash, and spanned the surface with a line. Not long my eye was thus content, but grew more critical. My bent is aid a higher walk. I copied leaden ice and lead, rheumatic hands and write and read, and goaty fled and chuck. And my studious art for days, kept making faces, happy phrase, for faces such as mine, accomplished in the details when I left the minor parts of man and drew the form divine. Old gods and heroes, Troy and Greek figures, long after the antique great Ajax justly feared, Hectors, of whom at night I dreamt, and Nestors, fine enough to tempt, bird Nestors to his beard. A Bacchus laying on a bowl, Pallus, when I was there her own, a Vulcan, very lame, and dying, stuck about with stars, from her right hand, a murdered Mars, when Williams did the same. But tired of his dry work, at last, crayon and child aside I cast, and gave my brush a drink. Dipping as when a painter dips in gloom of earthquake and eclipse, but is in Indian ink. Or when what black Mont Blancs arose, crested with soot and not with snows, what clothes of dingy you, in spite of what the brands has pent, I fear the distance did not lean achievement to the view. Not Quetcliffe's brush did ear design, black frost half so black as mine, or legs so like a pall. The Chinese cake dispersed a ray of darkness like the light of day, and Martin of all. Yet a chin pride sustained me still. I gazed on all the right good will and spread with tiny tint. No holy luck helped me to paint, but ever surely not a saint had any finger in it. But colors came like morning light with gorgeous hues, displacing night or springs and living at sea. At once the several shades withdrew. My skies got very, very blue. My trees extremely green. And washed by my cosmic brush, how beauty's cheek began to blush with a look of auburn stain. Not gold from auburn, not brown hair, but made her loveliest of a fair, not loveliest of the plain. Her lips were of vermont hue, laugh in her eyes and Prussian blue set all my heart in flame. A young Pygmalion I adorned, the maids I made, but time was stored with evil and it came. Perspective dawned, and soon I saw my houses stand against its law, and keeping all unkept, my beauties were no longer things for love and found imaginations, but horrors to be wept. Ah, why did knowledge open my eyes? Why did I get more artist wise? It only serves to end, what grave defects and wants are mine, but I am no hidden in design, in nature not divine. For his happy time, art's early days, when I each did with sweet self praise, as this was like a hug. And great Rembrandt but little seemed, and such old masters all were deemed as nothing to the young.